video from crunch econometrics i'll be showing you some simple tricks on how you can reshape your data that is in a wide format to a long format and also how you can generate ids for your observations for panel data analysis whenever we download this data from external databases like the world bank or imf they are often in wide formats which cannot be um fed into stata in their raw form they need to be prepped up and cleaned up within the excel interface so i'm going to show you some simple tricks and simple commands in excel that you can use in this example i have 46 countries each of them having 17 variables across 36 years so if i'm to manually generate ids or identifiers on numbers for these observations there's every likelihood that mistakes can occur and as a researcher i'm not willing to take chances so I'm going to teach you some uh, tricks by which you can actually reshape this data within the Excel interface. Number one, we have to generate IDs, identifiers for each of the 46 countries. So how do we do that? We begin by clicking right here, column A, right click, and we generate uh, a new column. I call that new column C underscore ID because I'm generating an ID for each country, each of the six countries. So I type in one for cell A2, and then I have to give Stata, sorry, Excel an instruction equals if, open the bracket. If B3, that is the observation in B3 is the same thing as the observation in B2, comma, assign number A2, comma, if otherwise, assign number a2 plus one let's see what excel will do excel are generated one for me meaning angola is the same in cell b3 as the one in cell b2 so what i do next is i bring my mouse to the end of cell a3 it changes to a plus sign i double click on that and um, excel has um, generated these ids for me Remember, I said I have 46 countries, so let me do control end, and that takes me to the end uh, to see whether I have number 46 for Zimbabwe. So this is correctly done. Zimbabwe has 46. Because column A1 uh, is generated with a formula, I cannot fit it to state out that way. I have to remove the formula. So what I do next is to create another column. I call that column C underscore ID because I'm still working on country IDs. I click on the B column. I copy it. I click on column A. Then I go to paste. Click on paste special. The paste special dialog box opens up. I click on values and OK. Now Stata, sorry, Excel has generated the numbering for me. And I have done better by removing the formula. So I delete column B. So if we click column A now, each of these countries are known by their number. And it's as if I manually did it, but Excel did that for me. Now I need to generate numbering for each of the series, that is each of the variables. But I need to sort them first. So I highlight the entire worksheet. I go to sort and filter. I sort by series alphabetically a to z so you can see that my series variables have all been sorted correctly it will be easy now to generate ids for them i right click i create a new column and i call this s underscore id i do exactly what i did before i put number one there and i give excel the same command equals if open the bracket h dependency equals h dependency in the previous cell comma if that is the case, assign D2. If not, assign D2 plus 1. So that is the instruction I'm giving Excel. I bring my mouse to the end of cell D3. It changes to a plus sign. I double click on that. And I should have the numbering up to 17. So let's do control end. That takes me to the end of my data. And I should have 17. Very good. So I have the 17 variable as trade percentage of GDP. Again, I cannot fit into Stata this way because of the formula. I need to find a way to remove it. So I click that to create another column, which I call S underscore ID because I'm still on the series. I do what I did before, Control C, 
I come to this place, I highlight the new column, go to paste, click on paste special, look for values, click that and click OK. I don't need column E anymore because it's full of formula, I won't need it in status, so I'm deleting that. Again, I resort back by country. You can also sort back by country ID, it's the same. So I'm sorting by country because that's where I'm going to feed into Stata. I click OK. Next thing to do is to remove the double periods. Whenever you download this data from particularly World Bank, any observation, any variable that has no observation, it puts a double periods in it, and Stata will not run with that. So what do we do? We need to clean them up with Control F, find what? Find any cell with double period, you put a double period, and replace with an empty cell. You don't put anything we replace with, so click all. Excel has removed 5,410 for us, cleaned up. If we are to manually do it, there's every likelihood that we may, meet, we may omit some cells, and this is clean, just the way we want it. Before we go to Stata, we need to modify the year by typing YR in front of each year. If you don't do it, Stata will not accept it. So we we'll go back here, highlight year 1980 and 1981, drag down to 2015, drag down to 2015, and um, there it is. So this was the last prepping before we go to Stata. I'm going to save what I've done to retain the recent changes. So now, I launch my Stata. I go to Data Edit or Edit, open that up, go back to where my file is, click on the cell above A1, to highlight the entire worksheet, I click copy. I go back to Stata, go to edit, for under my data editor menu, click paste. I select the second option which says street first as variable names, I click that. There is my data. So now I need to reshape from the way it is to what I, what I want exactly. By typing a simple command reshape long yr comma I put the identifier as I, open my bracket, C underscore ID, S underscore ID, close the bracket, put a space, that's S underscore ID, put a space, my J variable will be here, close the bracket, enter. Good. So let's see, let's browse and see what we have. Yes, we want to change to browse mode exactly. So this is what we have now. Well, I have to drop series because it's going to affect the arrangements of this uh, data. So I come back to the command box and I try drop series. By dropping series, because I now want my years and my country to be in rows, but the variables to be in columns, I retype by saying reshape wide yr comma. My indicators will now be c underscore id. Those will break my row variables and year, close the bracket. While my column variable now will be the series IDs, SID. Enter. So good. So let's browse and see what we have. So Stata has done exactly what I want. The years are now in rows. The countries are the way they are supposed to be. They are all in rows. While my indicators or variables are in columns but i don't like where my countries are they are the end of my data so i need to bring them forward i will just simply tell stata to move using the move command move country before year that was the command i'm typing so year goes before country sorry country goes before year let's browse and see so my country variable has moved before year same thing I'll do for CC. CC is at the extreme of the data. Still using the move command, move CC before year. So CC goes before year. Let's browse and see what we have. Good. You will notice that some variables are colored in red while some are in black. Alphabetical variables are called string variables and they are in red, they are colored. While uh, dark colored variables or numbered variables are called uh, floats in Stata. 
So again, you will observe that your variables have taken new names. YR1 to YR17. So in case you don't know what they stand for, just quickly go back to your Excel sheet. For instance, YR10. That tells you it's variable 10, which is gross enrollment ratio secondary, both sexes. So you can always know which variable is what. Again, using the rename command, I will do another tutorial on how you can rename your variables. Using the rename command, you can rename all these variables into short names by which you can use to run your analysis. So thank you for watching. You can like our videos and also subscribe for more videos from Crunch Econometrics. I'm going to save now as SSA. I've already saved it before, so I can always say yes, replace. Again, thank you for watching from Crunch Econometrics. I hope you enjoyed it.